All right, this is Mr. Wyrick, and I'm going to kind of go through today's um, notes presentation because I won't be here for today. Uh, so this is volume of composite figures. On the next slide, um, it has some three-dimensional shapes. It shows like a barn, um, a silo. So for the silo, you would see a cylinder and then um, a hemisphere, half of a sphere on top of it. For the barn, you'd get a, a rectangular prism, but then you'd have a triangular prism on top of that. And there's another one that's over there that's a composite of a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. So you just kind of have to break them down and you have to find the volume of the different parts. The next slide is volume formulas. So the prism is the area of the base times the height or the, the, the height can also be, you know, the distance between the two bases. Uh, for the cone, it's one third pi times the radius squared times the height. For the sphere, it's four thirds times the pi times the radius cubed. On that last one we were talking about with the silo, the four thirds pi times the radius cubed, you would then take half of it because it's a hemisphere on top. Uh, for the pyramid, it's one third the area of the base times the height. And for the cylinder, it's pi r squared times the height. So on our example one, determine the volume of the figure to the right. It would be uh, for the cylinder part, seven squared, which is 49 pi times six. So um, 294 pi uh, cubic feet. And then for the top, it would be pi r squared again. So um, seven squared is 49 pi times seven would be 343. And then you would need to divide that by three. So you get a messy answer there. Um, and then you would add those two together, the area of that cone and then the area of the cylinder. So you just kind of go piece by piece. Um, on the second one with the cylinder sticking out of the uh, rectangular prism, eight times 14 times 12 uh, would be the volume of your bottom one there. And I'll have, let's see, here you go, Desmos. Um, 8 times 14 times 12 is going to give us 1,344. And then for the cylinder, it's going to be um, 4 squared uh, times pi times my height, which is 8. So I've got 1,344 for the rectangular prism. I've got 402.12. So that's going to be 1,746.12 uh, roughly for the total volume of that figure. Um, on our example number three, a frame company's MRI machine is formed by cutting out a cylinder from a rectangular prism. The frame is made from unique hard plastic metal, high densile polyethylene. Makes sense because you don't want anything to respond to a magnet in an MRI machine. If the machine's frame is 80 inches deep, 61 inches high, and 30 inches wide, and the cylinder cutout is 25 inches wide, how much polyethylene will be used for each MRI machine manufactured? So you want to find the volume of this. This is going to be 80 times 61 times 30. And then on your cylinder, it's going to be... You don't want the diameter, you want the radius. So you cut that 25 in half, it's gonna be 12.5. You square it, take that times pi and multiply by 80 because that's your, your height, your distance between those bases. And then we would subtract those two to get that. So this is a nice real world situation, kind of usage there for this one. Um, the edge annuity quiz is actually titled Cavalieri's principle and the volume of composite figures. So I'll probably need to edit that. Um, and we're not covering Cavalieri's principle. So on the last um, slide, if you get the one that's Cavalieri's principle, um, just use the answer that they show, which is the solid between the two cones and the cylinder. Okay, it's, it's gonna be weird. Um, and we're, we're not supposed to cover that, but we were still supposed to either use this ingenuity or steal the questions from it. 
So we just give you this one for free. So there's only going to be one question that's about Cavalieri's principle. So make sure that you get the answer uh, from this uh, from this slide if you do get that question. If you have any questions, uh, save it, and I'll get back on Wednesday, and you can talk to me then. Bye.